So there is the completed um, subwoofer covers that uh, my wife sewed up. She uh, put some trim on the handles that you can see there to prevent the uh, material from fraying. Just standard stuff you get at a sewing store. Oh, my fingers keep getting in the way here. So in here you see the pockets where we've got uh, XLR cables and the power cables. And of course you can easily pull these things off. Got the manual there, just for a first time setup. Probably will never take that with me, but uh, just pulled it out of the box, so I was just reading up on it. And of course there's subwoofer two. I was able to get um, actually two uh, covers out of uh, one blanket or one sheet. I did screw up a bit, so I could have easily, I think, gotten another one or two uh, other covers made, but I just didn't need it because I've only got two subs. So uh, over here, you can actually, well there's the box, I just unboxed it. And over there you can see its bigger brother, the uh, 1500D. Um, I'll probably take that along tomorrow, just uh, I've got a gig tomorrow at uh, James Bay Edelweiss Club. So I'll probably take that along. As you can see on the bottom, I did a CanNav mod, standing for Canadian Naval, Navy mod, um, by putting some uh, dolly wheels on the bottom. Uh, bolting them straight on just makes it a lot easier because it's like 90 pounds. So it's a lot easier to trundle a little long without having to uh, heave ho and uh, lift it by the handles. So it uh, makes it a lot easier. Anybody with a big sub should be doing that. But of course you might get a little more vibration. So you just should get locking wheels for that. These things they weigh 42 pounds each. So you don't really need any wheels. You can see the, uh, the back side of the one sub, the handles, and the front grill. It's starting to get a little dark so it's hard to see, but uh, we'll give it a good shot tomorrow, see what it sounds like. I'm going to stack them, I think, hook them up to uh, one of the tops, and uh, see how they perform. Um, it's a really big hole, so that's why I'm going to bring the other sub just in case it just doesn't, it, during sound checks, it doesn't uh, sound like it'll fill the, fill the place. And uh, I'll take some video while I'm there, obviously, for my gig log and uh, give, a, give an impression I, of what I think of the, uh, the two subs together um, afterwards. So I'll probably have to experiment a little bit to get them to set up, to be set up optimally, but I think it will uh, it'll turn out good.